Welcome to Training 19, Teamwork Basics. The outcome we're after is to help your team understand what it means to work as a team and to give them some specific details about how teams function. Now there are basically three levels of teamwork determined by the interaction of the members of that particular team. The more in interdependent people are, the more closely members need to work together. So level one is members have to communicate decisions and activities. This is simply a reporting. You keep everybody informed. Level two, members need to coordinate their activities. That means prior to doing something, I need to check in with other members of the team. That's going to require a deeper level of teamwork. Level three, members need to collaborate. Communicate, coordinate, collaborate. The deepest level of team is when we need to collaborate and work together to actually get actions completed. Now each level of these teams, communicate, coordinate, and collaborate, revolve around four basic elements of goals, roles, process, and relationships. And high performance teams, teams that really get it together, take a look at each of these and understand what they're doing. So it's not a bad idea to have these listed out. And when you're starting to put a team project together to go through these goals, what are we trying to accomplish? What's our mission or purpose, strategy, operating plans, tactics? That's the goal portion of it. Go ahead and clarify the roles. Who's responsible? Who overlaps where? Where are independencies? What are the expectations? Make sure those are clearly laid out. It'll help your teams become more effective. Processes. How do we run? How do we work together? When there's a problem, how are we going to solve it? Decision making, managing conflict. All those kinds of things we need to lay out so that there's an understanding of how this works. And then finally, relationships, communication and, and influence. How do I get stuff done? What's the level of communication we need? What's the level of trust? How do we begin to walk through this particular understanding of what a team does? Now, if you understand that and keep that in mind, when you come to your particular agency or organization, you're going to say, what do we do that requires teamwork? Spend some time with your staff and have them answer the question. What do we do on a regular, consistent basis that requires teamwork? Communication, coordination, collaboration are the three levels. What do we do? And then what's the level of teamwork that each action requires? If we're doing this particular team concept, is it just communication? Or does it require the next level of coordination? And as you walk through the specific activities that you accomplish as an agency, you'll understand how team actually flows and works and gets done. And when, you're, when you've got that under control, then you need to look at those four specific things that you look at to make sure that the teams are functioning well. So this is just to help your staff get a handle on what it means to actually function as a team. And there are times in, in troubleshooting teams that you can simply say, listen, is this a communication issue or a collaboration issue? And a lot of the problems that you will face will come to clarity because you understand which level of team you're functioning at.